Okay, welcome to our video about floor plans. This is Floor Plans 101. The reason that we're doing this video is that when you're looking at buying a house, it's really important that we help you quantify everything. We want to help you to decide what it is you want, narrow down your focus so that you're not going around to see a ton of homes especially um, when you work full-time and your hours of availability are pretty limited. So we really want to help you figure out what those um, criteria are for your future home and be able to get you started in an efficient way. So we want to help people to be able to find the home that is going to meet the phase of life they're in or the phase of life that you're um, expecting to move into in the future. So the first property, the first floor plan we're going to talk about is the ranch. The ranch style home is basically what everybody thinks about whenever they think about main level living. All of the bedrooms and the bathrooms, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room are all on one level, all on the main level of the house. Um, these homes could be on a slab. They could be on a uh, crawl space or they could have a basement, either finished or unfinished. So one thing that we're really finding interesting is that in new construction, the, the view of the traditional ranch is changing. So in the past, the traditional ranch has been the rectangle that has the hallway, the long hallway with all the bedrooms and bathrooms off of that. And then the main living areas of the home on the other end. And what we're seeing in new construction is that the um, traditional makeup of the ranch home is changing. And so that's been a really fun thing to watch. So um, let's see, the other thing I was wanting to tell you about ranch homes that I think is probably the most interesting to a lot of people is that they are the most expensive floor plan to be built. The next floor plan that I want to tell you about is the reverse ranch, and it's also called a reverse one and a half story. So basically, it's a one level home with half of a story in the basement on the reverse side. So um, basically, you get main level living out of this type of property. There's usually two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and living room, dining room, kitchen, all on one level. And then the reverse half of the house in the basement is also finished as a part of this. Whereas in a ranch home, it's not necessarily, unless that's been an upgrade that has been taken care of at some point. So this is a really, really, really popular floor plan right now. And it's especially common, um, it's, it's common all over the place, but it's especially common in areas where you have villas or patio homes, um, which are maintenance free and have uh, the lawn service taken care of and the snow removal taken care of for you, maybe some other amenities, but those are taken care of for you at a monthly cost, at a monthly HOA fee. Okay, so we just talked about a reverse one and a half story. This time we're going to talk about a one and a half story. So basically what you get out of a one and a half story is there's a main level master suite along with living room, dining room, kitchen, usually a half bath. And then there's an upstairs that has all of the other bedrooms and bathrooms on it. Um, there usually is a basement in this floor plan. But the basement, of course, depends on the upgrades and the finishing choices of the people that have owned that home in the past. And now the two-story. Two-story, usually everybody knows what that is. The two-story is where there are no bedrooms on the main level of the house. It's the living area. So kitchen, living room dining room. Sometimes there's an office, just depends on the size of the house. There's usually a half bath on the main level, um, but all the bedrooms are going to be upstairs. So um, that is the big differentiation 
of the um, two-story compared to the others. Um, usually there's a basement, depends on if it's been finished or not, but usually with these you see really nice tall ceilings, you see the stairway at the entrance of the house. So there's the two-story. All right, all right, all right, here we are. The split levels. <laughs> Okay, so split levels are really common in this area of the country. Maybe not so much in the other areas, but definitely here. So one of the things that's appealing about um, a split level home is uh, builders like it because it's, uh, it's the least expensive way to build a home and yet give plenty of square footage, plenty of rooms to the buyer. So it's very popular. Okay. I have to use my cues for this one because there are so many different kinds of split levels. So many times uh, split levels have tall ceilings. They uh, many times have two living areas or two rec areas for the family. And um, bedrooms and bathrooms may or may not be on the same level. So the front to back split is one and I'm gonna let you just read off the cues here in a minute. Um, there's also an atrium split, a California split, a side to side split, and then there's a split entry. Split entry, to be honest, is one of the ones that many people really struggle with because um, one of the nice things about it is when you get upstairs, all of the living is on that one level. But many people uh, don't care for it because it's where you walk in the front door and you have the choice of going up seven or eight stairs or down seven or eight stairs. And they don't like being able to, to see that. Um, and it also makes it hard to open the door and get around the door and let somebody else get in when company is visiting. It's also difficult because there's very little place for shoe placement um, and, and coat placement. So that is the lowdown on the split level. Check the screen and be able to see all of those fantastic details about split levels. Okay, so that was your Ranch 101. So basically what I would tell you is when I'm showing houses to young families, they do usually like split levels because there's a nice open feel between the levels and um, parents feel like they can be doing things in one area of the house and still be able to have view of their kids in other levels of the house. The one thing is you want to make sure that if you are going to have littles in the house, either your own littles or friends' littles or grandchildren, you want to make sure that um, you can put baby gates up or childproof gates on the stairways. Sometimes the angles of the stairways are very awkward when it comes to um, getting a baby gate to fit in that space. Sometimes it's impossible. So it's very important that you watch for that if that's gonna be something that's gonna be a need for, for you as a buyer. Um, usually um, families with kids like to have two stories as well. But when families have young kids, um, usually they are uncomfortable with the idea of having a one and a half story. The reason for that is they don't like the idea of them being on the main level of their house and their young kids being upstairs on the second level without them and having to come down during the nighttime when they need help. So um, that, is, that is something to think about. Um, when you're looking at main level living, you wanna look at either a ranch or a reverse ranch um, or a one and a half story. So, um, you know, of course, like I said earlier, there are tons of variations of all different, um, different kinds of properties. If you're looking at a property with a basement, just know that if you have a property that you're looking at that has a walkout basement, that's going to be a more expensive property. Just under that expense wise is a, a basement that has daylight. Um, a daylight basement, which usually means that it has an egress window where someone can get out in case of an emergency or that it just has a larger window that allows a lot of daylight into that basement. 
The least expensive basement to own is the basement that has casement windows. And those are just those small windows up at the top of the walls in the basement. So that gives you a good um, ground view of everything. Um, properties that are on slabs are not usually the most favored property. Um, and one common thing to think about is um, we need to help you find some information if you are looking at a property with a crawl space because um, there are some unique characteristics along with that that we need to make sure are safe and sound and are going to make a good property for you. Well, thank you so much for doing this Floor Plan 101 with me. As always, give us a call. Let us know how we can help you find your next house or sell your next house.